Hello, I'm JW. Now, a previous video we saw that uh, if you use actual jelly, as in the kind you're supposed to eat, as an electrical insulator, well, of course, it doesn't work because it's mostly water with a bit of pork gelatin and no doubt some flavouring and colour inside. So, obviously, not a good idea. But uh, what would happen if you actually use that stuff and then applied some power to it? Now, it's fairly likely stuff's going to get destroyed, but uh, let's see what would happen if we did. Now, let's have a look at the setup here, and we can see what we've got here is a tray, essentially, and it's got some copper wires in. Now, although the wires go round in a sort of loop there, they're not actually connected, it's two completely separate wires, and you see in the middle there they just sort of end at those two points. And uh, just to sort of loop round some screws there, and the jelly in this case is pink, it's supposed to be raspberry flavoured, and I've just poured some of that over the top in a thin layer. Now, when I actually put this on originally, it didn't look quite like this, but I've actually left this for a couple of days, mainly because it was raining outside. And we can see now that these screws have started to go rusty. So, again, this is obviously a problem that would happen if this got in contact with anything. And, of course, uh, it's going to actually rust because, say, this is mostly water. So we're going to just shove some current on those two wires coming outside. And then, of course, we'll see what happens. Any conductive path is through the jelly itself. Now, the power's been connected, and we're not actually getting a huge amount of current through this, so it's not particularly conductive. But uh, bearing in mind, in the previous one, when we did a resistance check, it showed in the many thousands of ohms range, at least. Now, what we're seeing here is the jelly actually melting, because, of course, it's being heated up by the current flowing through. And because the tray is at an angle, it's slowly sort of rolling down to the bottom edge. So, unfortunately, no smoke or flames in this case. It's just basically heating up and then uh, turning back to a liquid and, of course, running down to the bottom edge there. Now, I've put the tray uh, flat, or reasonably flat, here. And again, the power is uh, connected. And we can see uh, a bit of steam coming off there. It's not actually smoke, but uh, just water is basically boiling off. And we can see at the bottom corner there, that uh, you can see some of the liquid is actually boiling away and of course uh, evaporating off into the air but again there's no sort of smoke flame or anything else so it appears that this is not particularly conductive even with the small amount of gelatin and whatever else in there so it's really acting similar to that electrode water heater that we saw in a previous video which just basically puts the uh, current directly through the water in order to heat it up and well, we can see that it's sort of boiling away fairly well at that uh, bottom corner Here's a closer view, and as you can see, it's simply the water just boiling away there. Obviously pink in colour, but uh, it's pretty much going to be almost all water, and uh, not a lot else. The presence of the gelatin itself doesn't really seem to change anything. Now, I've actually left this on for over 10 minutes now, and it's been basically just boiling away there. And all we can see that's happened now is that uh, a considerable amount of the water has boiled away, and of course what's left is a much thicker substance, so as it's just sort of bubbling up a bit there and uh, turning into a sticky mess. So, uh, no, unfortunately, no fire, flames or explosions here. It's just sort of uh, rendering down basically to a uh, sticky liquid, and most of the water has boiled off. And you can see some remains of the uh, original coloured pink jelly over there towards the right-hand side. Now here I've just poured some water into the tray, and it's fairly hot water, so uh, obviously it will dissolve this salt that I'm now adding fairly easily. So a good uh, dosage of salt going in there. And uh, of course this would increase the conductivity significantly, so what we're going to do now is just turn on the power and see what happens. This is after about two minutes, and uh, you'll see that there's a flame at the bottom corner there, where the insulation tape is basically uh, heated up and set on fire. And it's usually very hot wires there. 
and now you can see that the wire is actually melted through so of course it's broken the circuit so obviously some further adjustment is required. Now you see the trays are rather disgusting and uh, nasty looking mess but uh, what we're going to do now is to uh, basically crank it up to the max just reconnected the wires there and uh, we'll just turn the power up to the absolute maximum we can and then we'll see what gives. So that's pretty much all the water evaporated away and we're just going for this disgusting uh, bubbling congealed mess and uh, unfortunately no flames there and of course what's still bubbling there is the remains of the jelly and the salt and whatever else was all mixed in together. So there you have it, that's uh, pretty much the end of uh, this particular device and obviously jelly is not suitable as an electrical insulator or any electrical purpose whatsoever but uh, it doesn't actually uh, set on fire on its own, it basically melts off and uh, comes back to the water that it was originally. So that's it for this time, and until next time, thanks for watching.